Hey y'all, and welcome to another midweek encouragement. We're gonna get right into things and I wanna start by reading you a selection of verses from Psalm 118. So before we hop into this, would you just put aside any distractions and just focus as we read the word of God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress, I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Glad songs of salvation are in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord exalts. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. I assume that you and I are living in the same world. And I don't know about you, but I have days where I get pretty upset at the state of some things around me. I don't want that to sound self-righteous or fatalistic or negative or anything like that. I admit I'm part of the problem at times, and I acknowledge that there is much good out in this world to be celebrated. In fact, that's one thing I'm really learning in my life right now, is that I have to build a pattern of gratitude and beauty into my life. It's not just self-help nonsense as I once thought. If I don't set up a gratitude habit and pursue beautiful things in my life, it's super easy to get depressed about my own life and the state of the world around me. In fact, if you're new to the party about how social media and media in general works, let me oversimplify it. Bad news sells. There's no shortage of it around us. There's no shortage of division. There's no shortage of things to be frustrated about, to speculate about, to be fearful of, or to angrily protest over in one way or another. But here's the reality. In scripture, we're most often called to let God fight our battles. Listen, that doesn't mean we never take action for anything, but we're so often clearly called to lay our burdens at the feet of Jesus and he will give us rest. Isn't that what so many of us need right now? Rest for our, our hearts, our minds, our souls, our fears, our uncertainties. It's promised to be found in our salvation in Jesus. It becomes really easy for us in the 21st century, post-truth, internet age to believe that if we could just hear more facts or, or find a new article or get more educated or prove others wrong, that we're somehow winning and winning for our cause and protecting ourselves. But, but as is our human tendency, those things almost always, always, always lead to controversy, speculation, distrust, division, and the like. I know this firsthand. So what do we do? Well, I recommend we do what the psalm is referring to. Yes, we may be surrounded by uncertainty, fear, enemies. I'm not downplaying those things. They can be scary. But why do we put our hope in man or anything other than him? Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is on my side, I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man or in princes. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song, not facts and articles and, and whatever side you fight for. He has become my salvation. Glad songs of salvation are in the tents of the righteous. So today, 
I suggest this for me and for you. Breathe. Just breathe. Slow down. Unplug from the world and plug into him. Call on Jesus, trust him and not man. Take refuge in him, worship him in your home or wherever you are and be thankful for the salvation he has purchased us. He is a God who can be trusted. Listen to this in the Psalm, this, this last verse I'm gonna say. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Grace and peace, friends.